Okay, so I want to tell you guys some things that you need to bring when you are traveling to Europe or when you're traveling on a cruise in general. So these are some key tips that I'm about to give to you, right? So this isn't in any particular order. This is just random. So there's not this is the number one thing you have to do or number two thing you have to do. So I'll just go. So the first thing I would suggest for tips and things to bring would be to bring an umbrella. Yes, I know it may not rain, but it is important to have an umbrella to hide you from this heat because this heat is unlike anything you will ever feel in your entire life. And it is nothing like the United States of America at all. Nowhere, nowhere. You can be, you can live in the South. The heat will still not feel anywhere close to what it feels like in the South. I live in California and this heat is extreme so much so if you have an umbrella it will help to be able to shade and hide you from the sun number two you want to bring an electric fan yes a you big can... one i'm sorry <laughs> I'm, I'm messing with you. that's that's what that's right you want to bring an electric fan it does not have to be big <laughs> it can be small like mine like i'm going to try to find you guys what mine looks like so you guys can see so you can have a fan i got mine from party city for 3.99 and it has been a lifesaver because it's been hecka hot. This is what I mean. You plug it into your phone and just go. If you can get one that's battery operated, even better. Because you ain't got to waste your battery life. But this is what you're going to want to bring with you when you come here. It's a fan. It's really important. Listen to me when I say you need a fan. Because when you're out there in that hot sun, you need something to blow. And you need something to be able to keep you cool. Because it's no joke out here. Number three. You need hats. You need hats. If you don't have an umbrella, bring a hat to shade your face from the sun. That's all I've been wearing this whole time, as you guys can see, is hats. Hats, 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 hats. Because it's what's keeping me cool. Yes. And um, number four. If you're coming to do a Mediterranean cruise, bring lots of euros. Don't think in your mind that, oh, it's not gonna, I'm not gonna need that much. It's gonna be a little bit that I need. It's not gonna be that much that I need. Bring it all. Don't <laughs> take it all. <laughs> Bring as much as you can because there's gonna be so much that you don't wanna do. And then if you don't have it, they're gonna be limited. And it's gonna be like, uh, I should have brought that. So bring lots of euros. Do not bring American cash. It's not gonna work. It's not. I mean, unless you're on a cruise ship, the cruise ship takes American cash. That's about it. Nowhere else takes it. So yeah, you're gonna wanna have euros, all right? Tip number five is you want to study and learn where you're going. Because once you get on the cruise ship or once you get to wherever you're gonna go, you wanna know what you're gonna wanna do. Because you only have limited time here. And because of that, you wanna make sure that you are using every single second wisely. So know what you wanna do and then go after it, right? Tip number six. Now tip number six is you want to dress cool. Do not be like me and wear dark clothing. It's not gonna help. It's not, I mean it, I mean, it's not gonna help at all. Do not wear dark clothing at all. Bring stuff that's light, you know, like short sleeves. If you bring shirts that have no sleeves, just be prepared if you're gonna go to the cathedral to have to cover your shoulders because there's no bare shoulders. You can't wear bare shoulders. And you can't wear shorts in the cathedrals. So be mindful of that. But you wanna wear light clothing. Like I have brought some Bermuda shorts. I was cool that whole day because I did that. Um, so bring light clothing, that's number six. Number seven, bring a battery pack for your cell phone. If you do not do anything else, bring that because <laughs> she's agreeing with me because if you don't your cell phones will die quickly because of how many pictures you're taking and how much um battery you're using because you're constantly opening your phone to take a picture and if you're on short excursions like we were like eight and a half hours nine and a half hours you know four hours your cell phone battery is going to drain like i had to charge my whole battery fully up halfway into this short excursion this short excursion was eight and a half hours so Bring a battery pack, very important to have, or else the last half of your tour, you'll have a dead phone and no pictures for you. And 
number eight would be bring headphones. If you're gonna be going on a shore excursion that has long drives like we've been doing, headphones is a must because you wanna listen to music because, I mean, most of the time your, your tour guide is talking, but when you're on your way back, they ain't saying nothing. They like, tour is over, y'all just sit here and be quiet and shut up, all right? So, <laughs> bring some headphones, listen to music. Um, you'll love that. And number, what one, what one am I on? I'm on the eight, I'm on eight? I don't know. Next key tip, because I ran, I don't know how, how many I've done so far, but the next key tip is to make sure you pack light. Pack light. Um, you're gonna bring back a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> and you wanna make sure you have the room for it. So pack very light. I thought I packed light, but most of the clothes that I have, I did not even, I didn't even touch it anywhere. And I didn't bring, I brought an outfit for every day. So I've been recycling outfits. You can do that. You can recycle outfits as well. So pack very light, cause you're gonna bring back a lot of stuff. And that also goes with the tip of pack light when you're going on your shore excursions. You don't wanna be boggled down or, or weighed down with a lot of bags or weighed down with a heavy backpack. If you can take just one small chain like for your wallet, like look at, this is what I got because my best friend brought it for me for Christmas. You take this baby, put it around your neck, that's all you need. Got your money, got your key card for your ship. You have your ID in there, that's it. That's all you're gonna need. And then you're not weighed down or worrying about people trying to pickpocket you because everything's in the front. And you're not gonna have to worry about, that was my stuff that fell, sorry. <laughs> you're not gonna have to worry about having to um, keep up with your stuff because your stuff is right there with you. So pack very light and bring only a little bit of things with you. And another tip is you're gonna wanna bring jackets. I know it's the summer, and I know you're thinking it's gonna be super hot, but there are times where it is extremely cold and you're gonna need it. I am so grateful that I brought a jacket when I went to go visit those catacombs because I would have suffered if I did not. It was freezing in there. Like you're gonna need a jacket. So make sure you bring jackets, all right? Next tip is going to be, don't come on a Mediterranean cruise or do not go on a cruise by yourself. It is always great to go with someone else because then you get to experience that adventure with, with another person. And it's not something that you're experiencing by yourself, but you're able to have good memories and be able to experience that with someone you love. So make sure <laughs> that you do have a companion with you, whether it be your husband, your best friend, your mother, your father, your sibling, your cousin, whomever it is, make sure it's with someone you love, right? And these next tips that I'm gonna give to you is gonna be tips on Norwegian Cruise Line. So these are gonna be some Norwegian Cruise Line tips that I wanna tell you guys. And that is tip number one, book everything early. I don't care what's going on in your life, book it early. Norwegian is every, everything in Norwegian is um, reservation based. So if you wanna eat at a restaurant, you better reserve. If you want to see a show, you gotta reserve. <laughs> Everything is reserved. I think the, the pros and cons between Norwegian and Carnival is Carnival, you do not have to reserve things. You just wait in line, you got it. Norwegian, you gotta reserve. And then if you don't reserve early, you're gonna get shh, almost cussed. You can get poopy times. Yeah, your times are gonna be crap if you try to go, um, too late to get um, dinner reservations. So the thing with what we did was, once we got on the ship, I started booking reservations right then because I already knew they're gonna start filling up, they're gonna start going fast. So start filling up and doing your reservations soon. Do not pass go, don't collect $200. Do it as soon as possible. So when the region, um, the shore excursions start to sell up quickly. So find the shore excursions that you want and book them as fast as you can because it's gonna suck if you get short excursions that you really didn't want and the ones you wanted are sold out. Another thing is when we're doing the Mediterranean cruise, there's not time to go to different shows and time to do nightly activities because you're so tired. I know I'm so tired, so I don't have the time to go and do that. Basically all I've been doing is short excursions, dinner, 
bed. That's all I've been doing this whole time. So I would say, you know, prepare for that. Um, another thing would be prepare yourself for their breakfast. It's not the best. It's, it's not. So I would just suggest sticking to fruit and bagels. <laughs> That's pretty much it. But um, yeah, this has been my tips for you guys. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in to my vlog. I hope that you like, comment below, and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and share and tell a friend that you're watching Journeys with Danny. See y'all later. Ciao.